Hello everybody. Endless weekends here. I want to start off with thanking you all from the bottom of my heart for watching and supporting this channel. And I'd like you to think about subscribing. Remember to hit that like button if you like it so it helps our videos get uh, promoted throughout YouTube. But I'm at a kind of at a standstill here on the cargo trailer. I uh, have some few things that I could be working on, but I want to finish the walls, at least the walls on the driver's side, because I've, I have a window I want to put in over there. But the more I finish, the more I do without finishing the walls means I'll have to finish the walls around things that I'm installing. So I want to get at least that driver's side wall up, the finished wall up before I put the window in so I can just install the trim and it'll be done. So what I'm going to do today, I have an eco-worthy battery system and I'm going to show you the battery system, tell you a little bit about the battery system and how it performed our first time out. Okay, so hang around and find out about the eco-worthy battery system. This is a review. Okay, and Later on down the road, after months and months of usage, many, many times of usage, if it doesn't perform well, I'll sure let you know that too. But so far, the company's been good to me. They've had to replace a part for me. I had a pin broken off. They sent me a whole new battery monitoring system. No questions asked. So, so far, EcoWorthy's been good. All right? Right there's the window I have to install. It is... Uh... 15 by 24 finished with trim. It's actually 14 inches wide in the space it's going in and between here and there is about 14 and a quarter. So the window will fit in there kind of snug. I'll be able to secure it right to the bracing on the trailer. So, but like I said, I want to get this wall finished with the paneling I'm going to put on it before I put the window in. So here is the new monitor EcoWorthy sent me. Here is the old one. There's a pin broken off right there. Right here is the new one they sent me. And this here is the, on the right there is the remote on and off for my inverter. And I have a 3,000 watt inverter. That's the only component of this is not that is not eco worthy. So the monitoring system, it does work very well. We're at 13.6 volts, and I'm at 100 percent. And I'll take you up here. If you see this blue monitor, it's called a hall monitor. You run your two power lines through that to your battery, and that's what you'll see an arrow on there. It shows you which way you run them through. The charge from the solar controller goes through the direction of the arrow, and my red hot from my solar, my or positive from my solar controller, is going through the home monitor to my positive side of the battery. This is a 260 amp hour lithium ion battery. It has a monitoring system that uh, controls overheating and I believe it also controls uh, when it gets too cold. Here is the 60 amp MPPT charger I decided to go with. It'll control, I think it will handle up to 800 watts being put into the battery. It works marvelously. To be honest with you, let me see if I can get this up a little bit. We're taking in 76 amps right now. I have a 200 amp or 200 watt panel out on the ground right now, just laying flat on the ground. But since I have installed this, this has been installed about one month now. This mostly stays on float, so once the battery gets up to 14.2 volts, it will drop down and it will not uh, put over 
I guess 15 to 20 watts into there. Let me turn on my inverter. Now the inverter itself, once the inverter warms up, it will start drawing 11 watts on its own. So there we go, it went up to 11 watts. So if you leave your inverter on when you're not using it, you're draining 11 watts from your battery, just so you know. There is my 12 volt fuse block. I have using three out of the six fused spaces. I have one going to my battery, one going to my lights, and one going to my overhead fan. I only have two places to plug in, and right now I have no 110 running into the trailer. Eventually I will have 110 running into the trailer, maybe even 30 amp, not sure. Probably the most air conditioner I'll ever use would be a portable and vent it through the floor like I have my solar wires right here going through the floor. So I have two spots. I have my fire stick and TV plugged in right now. Uh, my TV is plugged into the inverter. I have a six-way plugged into the inverter and my fire stick is plugged into the six-way. Camping, I will probably never need any more battery. Now this says a 15 year lifespan on here with 6,000 cycles. It has a built in, if you can see right on there, battery management system. So that would probably last me camping as long as I need it. Now if I was living in this full time, which I probably never will, I would probably need more so I can uh, cook three meals, be comfortable, it would never run air conditioning, but I could just be as comfortable as I wanted to be. Now with my TV running, it pulls 22 watts. I have a 19 inch TV with the inverter pulling 11 watts, that's 33. And I have a couple fans. Uh, the black fan pulls 30 watts, I believe, or 44 watts on medium. So uh, at the most I was running like 75 watts with just a, an extra fan running and a TV. So I am not in any way affiliated with EcoWorthy, but for the price of that battery, for the price of the system, I have a little, let me see, I'm guessing around $1,000 in that whole system, uh, in the EcoWorthy system. Now that's not including the 3,000 watt inverter, which I have about $300 in. So, I am not affiliated with EcoWorthy in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to get on here and let you know that they do stand by their product. I thank them for sending me the new battery monitoring system. So far, the battery has even, hasn't even hardly come off a float. That's with one 200-watt panel. So, of course, I don't use a lot. But, I think the company is a good company. I don't know... Uh, what else I can say about them in a couple months if the battery takes a dump on me I'll sure let you know about that too but one thing I know about YouTube honesty is the best policy once people catch you lying on YouTube your reputation smoke so I try to tell you the the best honest evaluations that I can I don't make anything up but right now the eco worthy has been good to me I've got about a thousand dollars in that system and like I said, they said the battery's got 15 year lifespan. So in 6,000 cycles with the battery monitoring system built in. The only thing that's not eco worthy on that system is my inverter, which I've got about $300 in. So I'm happy. Thank you, eco worthy. I'm giving you a thumbs up and keep up the good work. And if I need anything else, my next battery is going to come from EcoWorthy. So, you guys, this has been an honest evaluation of my EcoWorthy battery and monitoring system. And solar controller, my 60 amp solar controller. 
which will handle up to 800 watts. So we'll see you. Remember to love others the best you can. Never stop dreaming. 50, 60, 70, 80. Never stop dreaming. There's a kid inside of all of us. So we'll see you next time. Endless weekends. Bye-bye.